Hello crafters and welcome to season two of P2P Craft Presents brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. I'm your host, Michelle Brown, Creative Director from Picture to Page, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafts community. And we're so excited to be here today. Now for all the P2P Craft Presents sessions, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can see all of 15 videos in session season one, all of the videos for season two, we've got eight so far, we've got four to go, and you can see all the replays and of course catch all the links as well. And while you're over there, make sure you're on our email list so we can get all the updates each week. Now whether you're watching here at Facebook or you're watching a replay or on YouTube, we'd love to hear from you. So let us know that you're here, say hi. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments as well and we will certainly get to them. Now today we're very excited because we're back card making and we're peeking in to Christmas in July. So Peter P Craft presents Craft Zone. Hello, Mary. Hello, Michelle. And it's, hello, everyone that's watching. It's great to have you back. So we're looking at a bit of, ah, oops, we're looking at a bit of, um, sorry, wrong button, um, Christmas in July today. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to cheer up. Mm -hmm. Back to lockdown. So I thought, oh, well, we can start making our Christmas cards. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So what will you be sharing with us today? Um, I just made two cards, but you can make a lot more with the same dies in many, many different ways. And they're very easy because mm -hmm. we have the backing of the cards, the actual design cards already die cut for you. Oh, excellent. And we sell them on our website as well. Yep, that certainly yep. makes things easier, doesn't it? It does. And you don't need the big dies. And we have them in the three colors, black, white, or cream. And you can dress them up your own Christmas colours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's, the, you know, one of the, the real things that you've shared with us over these videos is that you can make stunning cards but just by having a few techniques and knowing how to buy the right products. Mm -hmm. That's right. Excellent. Okay, well, we'll let you get your camera switched around and we'll get started. All right, thank you. Okay, so it's good to see everyone there. I can see we've got Tammy and we've got Florina. It's great to have you back. And hi, Tamara. Hi, Em. I hope you're having fun out in the um, the outer suburbs of Melbourne and Victoria. And I hope everyone is doing okay with the lockdown today. So it looks like Mary is ready to go. So I'll hand back over and we'll get started. Away to you, Mary. Thank you, Michelle. Is that okay? Am I in the centre? Yep, that looks good. Good. Okay. Well, this is the first card for today. It's our screen card, which we sell already die cut, and I've made with reindeers and a Christmas scene behind it, or winter scene. Um, I'll just turn that around. We sell the packs, the cards. Oh, I'll put it up there. Um, I've got one from our store. Great. This is how we sell them in packets of five, in black, white, or cream. And that's how they come. So you just push them out. They're already die cut. So you just push them out, go to there. Just put your finger in. Billy's already done a great job die cutting them. So all you gotta do is push them out and then go. And this is our first one, and then we also give you the other bit so you can stick on the back. So when you cut sticks, I'll show you how I make this cut as I go along. Um, you can also do many different ways. You can use one or more, and you can use an A5 crease. We give you a bit of a lip on the bottom here so you can secure your card, if you like, or on the back, and keep going. Okay, so that's just what our screen card does. What I've done is I've joined two together. So I'll pull up my samples. So the dies I've used is the window by Nelly, Christmas window, which is two dies. The reindeers, and my favorite reindeers are these two. The two different ones. It's this one here, and there's two in the family, two different ones. 
which is those two reindeers there, those two dice. And as you can see, I'm overloaded with reindeers, so you can pick and choose. But I've only used those two on the card and this one. And Merry Christmas in the window. So that's all you need, really, to finish this card. Plus, because I'm not very good in colouring, I've used the Christmas scene. It's a printed sheet by Nelly, and I've just die-cut it with this. So just die-cut with that. And with the window, I've die-cut it in cream. So that's the dies. And I've used a snow embossing folder. I haven't used any embossing at all right through these last four classes we did. So I thought I'd better use some embossing and just give it a bit of relief and a bit of texture on our papers. So put the dice away and let's make the cup. That's it all there. Glasses on. So everything I've pre-cut, like I said, and I've joined our screen cards. I've joined two cards together. And it's very easy once you do that. So cards down. So when I die cut the screen, the printed sheets, one Come put there and one there. More tools. And I've already, you know, we're in lockdown for the next six weeks, so I have plenty of time to prepare this. <laughs> but it took me a little while to plan and design the car. But then you just put the stickies on. So one good thing about being in lockdown, if you have a hobby, you can get carried away. Time goes. Okay. One down. And just put this. It's got the flaps, but you don't need to worry about it at the moment. I just I cut it and I'm just going to put it center. Okay, the next one. You can use glue, but being paper, this print, I thought it might bubble. And it's neater when you put double sided tape. So, Mary, Em's asking about the tool that you're using to take the backing tape off. Double end picking tool or picking tool. It's got a little spatula on the end and a little point to lift up the tape, especially the red double-sided tape that's very tacky and very strong. This is ideal. It is on our website. It's called double end tool. Yep, and I'll make sure we link to that with the video as well. Yeah. Um, and all the dies. Okay, so this is the card. Then I'll finish one at a time. For the back of the card, see, that's the four. But on the back down here, I, I would like to use, I use the cream. I just cut a piece of the cream card. Like I said, it comes in other colors. So I've cut a piece of the cream. So I just want to stick that going because I'll be using um, snow and things later and I don't want to disturb the structure of the car. This is sticky, sticky. So when you use this, it matches because everything is die cut the same. So I'm just going to match it and put it down. So being in the middle, it also gives it some strength and some body. 
How can you have a tidy desk when you can yeah. it? Put it a little bit here. And for the end, I've embossed and die cut. This is our snow. I don't know if you can see it up there. Ooh, perhaps that you is hold it a bit closer to the camera. Yep. Yeah, we can just see that. Yeah, that's just the snow, which is, it comes in square, but I just die cut it and then uh, I've embossed and then I've die cut it in the shape from this um, Nelly. I think. So again, I've already put my glue bit, um, double sided tape. You can color the snow as well. With, or you can even use the actual snow paste that we have. And I'll show you. Ah, the texture paste or the flocking. That would be lovely. Yeah, I've got snow, which I've used on the car, which I'll show you. So this one just sits. Let's see if I can balance this. I can't see very well. Okay. So this is our structure of the car. And as you can see, it has the front, but it can't stand. So we need to put, when you get our packets, you have extra legs for support. So we turn it down and you use this and they match the back. Just use some tape, match. You actually end up with more supports than the actual cards because we put two when you cut, but you only need one. So you can use this for other things. So this one goes on this leg to support the frame standing up. See now it can stand up and hold its own. Right? It stands. So that's the base. We start backwards because with the end, I wanted to put a little Christmas. We do sell, I've showed in the past, the sticky dots. We also have sticky back um, products, which is, it comes in all different sheets, like this is glitter, but it's sticky back. So when you die cut, that's the front, and I've used a different one here, but you actually peel and it becomes a sticker. So they're sticky back. It's and they're a great way of doing it. Right? Yes, it is on our website. So you can buy them anything sticky back and the front we advertise what they are. Now the challenge is for me to see where this all right, there it is. So you just have to pick This light of my Okay. I don't know. Can you see it there? You just have to peel. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And now it's a sticky. So I'm just going to place that down with our spatula of the double ended tool. You can secure it down. Okay. And I've cut so many reindeers, I thought I'll put one on the back. Mm, I think I need a different one. I need one looking the other way. Uh, where are my other reindeers? Oh, come on, give me a minute. I've cut Okay. This is the one. Turn to supplies here. Okay, so I just glue this. Now Robin lent me her glue because she reckons I use too much. 
So <laughs> she put a thank you for my GMTs in all in this. Uh, and Jeanette's watching us again. Yeah, or oh, Jeanette loves using less glue as well, but I just want to use so much. So, all right, so there's a glue there. I just trace that. Now, because that looks plain and I've got the nice scene down here, the Christmas winter scene, I've, when I've cut it with the arch die, I've cut one piece of the, the leftover out of there. So I just want to put it on top to make it look a little bit, you know, sitting in a frame. So again, my glue, just move it to this side. You can use tape, but this is easier on a glue, I don't have to go around with so much tape. Okay. And once you sit it up, the good thing with the glue is you can move. While that is drying, we'll move in. Here, I'm just going to leave it blank so people can write their greetings. So we're going in and we're going to play here. Now, once you've die cut the reindeers, that's how they look. All right. So what I've done is, that's not the one, that's this one. See that, you cut it like that. So what I've done is I've cut only, I broke it up and I only use this from that scene and scissors. And then you create your own trees because that just bulk you once I see it there. So you can just cut around it and make it a bit more interesting. You just need little scissors or anyway. The ladies that do fussy cutting, they should have all the right scissors. But any scissors will do the job. So I just wanted to show you that this dye, it's not just about C. So this card folds because if you follow the creases that we put on it. It has a little cut there. So what I'm going to do now that the paper is stuck on, I will just follow the back and cut up to the edge so the cut can flip. And I'll do the same on the other end because if you look on the back, it does give you the guide. And it's easier than doing your own matting and cutting. See now the cut is flipping. It looks like I need to do it more. Okay, see? The cut now folds and moves. So increase it. And there we are. So I want to sit this reindeer right there so it can go out. A bit more glue. That's now. Now, part of the other die, I've cut it again. If you cut it, see, it's got that there. I've just broken it up. 
I've just cut it and I'm going to use this as well. So I'm going to use it behind so it can look there. So this one now, it's too far up. So I'm just going to trim him down. So it can show the small reindeer in there. So just trim that and as you go, you're going to get different. And this one, I have to glue in the front. Just hold it there. Trim this a bit more so I can show the little one there. Now, I'll put that last. Now, this one, see these two different dies, they're facing each other. So I will just put it in this one while that's drying. You don't want to be showing it's all right. You want to put a background only on one card. Just going to create some more. See, that looks a bit more. I just need to trim that down. So he can sit in there. It is better with a smaller tip. Mm -hmm. I don't have to make such a big mess. Okay, so you can just see towards the bottom. This way. Now, open it all up. We've got snow. This is a snow paste. So you, what you do is squeeze. Because it's winter, I like to give it some snow. So we start you now you can do snow dots or snow all over the leaves. Whatever you want. It's good for if you're doing uh, Christmas with homes, you can do it all over the roof, you know, the edges of the eaves and stuff. It's really nice. So there's some snow there, and I guess the reindeer sits in the snow because it's a very snowy scene. And Mary, does the snow take very long to dry? No, it dries like plaster. It will dry before we finish the class. Okay. It, it doesn't. It dries quicker than the stick holes or the other glitter that we use. It does. It's just it, don't do it too much. Just do it two layers. But now I find that it dries very quickly. Usually, it's all over my hands as well. But I'm trying to be good today. So we just do the bit of a snow. It, it puffs up like a 3D effect. Don't 
I mean, we have Christmas in July, I think, because we've got the winter. We just found it appropriate today to use this. I'm just going to, I'm not very artistic with the snow, but you just follow the leaves. Okay, so we're just going to use as much or as little as you like. And it doesn't really dry up. I've had this for, this is my second or third year. So wipe the bottom, put the lid back on, and you're done. Now, with the window die from Nelly, like I said, you've got the front as well. So you die can't. And I wanted to give it some depth. So I've put my sticky foam on the back there. So I've got to take it off. My trusty tool, and because I was planning ahead and I did it yesterday, it might be easier now. It's okay when you put it down, easy, but you can use your finger because it's too fine. You've got nails, but you can use the, the tool. There it is. I think I'm quicker with my hands on this small. I did put too many, and I know the girls will say, oh, you've done too much, but I want it secure. So you just take... It's like yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So there's our window, so I'm just going to put it on top, try and match it, it should fit because I've cut it with the same guy, and just stick them down in the foam dots, there I did, If any of the snow moves, don't worry. Just put some more snow when you finish. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to put snow before I put the... Where is my wipes? Mm. Okay. And I've got one more. But this one I've only done a half because you want it to extend. You don't want to stick it all the way. So this is only the hand. You see, it will still stand. It doesn't need to be all the way down. Finished. You can't see what I'm going to move. Okay. So I've only done the left half. So I'm only going to use it on this side. Which is the other half folds over, you see. Mm -hmm. So it's tiny. So when you lift, it's like that. Now, because I've got too many reindeers, I've done another one, which I want to put on this side. And I just want to glue 
a little bit of their legs. Once we stand it. Because it's a bit lonely there. I've got snow all of it. But it washes off, so don't panic. It's like pasta. This is the fold it like an accordion. And that one you can fold again so it can hide and back. And this is our reindeer Christmas card. So you can write your greetings there. You can put white on the back and write on the back. And that's what it is. You can use more of the trees and make different, um, add more trees inside there. And that's what we want to be here. So I'm cut it down. That is an amazing card, Mary. Yes, I've got snow all over me, but you need it to dry. <laughs> and if you like more, just keep adding. Mm. But it folds and it goes in a C6 or DL envelope, sorry. Okay, so it will still fit in a DL. Cool. Yes, it does fit in a DL. I'm not going to do this because I'm going to damage it. I'll show you the one I just got ready. See, it folds like that. Mm -hmm. So it goes in a DL. So that's that one. Finished. And like I say, you only need two dies and reindeers and their window. That's what does it. And we do sell the other cards. Now, I'll show you some other ideas that the girls did in classes when we first created this screen card. There's one here. There's a few, actually, but I couldn't find them all. With lockdown, I've put a lot of things away. Um, Jeanette made this some time ago using um, Yvonne Creations, the Pierrot, their 3D die cards. The backing papers, and she used again two cards, and she just joined them on the back. And then she did this one just single. See, this is just the one. She used it in white, and that's how it comes. Oh, lovely! And cheer up. We certainly need to hear that message today. Yeah, that's um. Another cut that I found in our box of the screen cards that we've made. So that's our screen cards. I'm out so I can have room. But they're very easy to make. Just fold it and follow your um, own creation. Let's tie it up. And we will do our other Christmas ones, our other Christmas card, deck the holes. Now, with this one, I have used sticky back gold, sticky back green, and they're glitter, but they're sticky back sheets. Like once you die cut, Leaf, and there's a sticky. Mm -hmm. So we've got them on the website. I've used, I've become a bit of a carpenter for the staircase. I didn't know, I wanted it in. We've used our own zigzag cards. We sell them in black, white, or cream, and I've used white on this one or cream yeah it's ivory so i didn't want the staircase to be white so i've used 
I wanted it timber, looking at our staircase in the house. So this was the closest thing to timber that I found. So I've cut the staircase twice. And this one, <coughs> I've cut to make the rug, just this bit here. For the rug, but you can use them to make other cards. Which, in this packet, you get all these dies. It's a Christmas festive scene. All the dice are there. Oh, wow. So it's got the stair that's banister that's and everything. It. Yeah, and I've just used Merry Christmas as well. <coughs> so this day, and I didn't use the lamp or lights or Christmas lights. Um, I just realised this morning, actually, I could have used them as well and decked the staircase with Christmas lights, but I didn't. I just used bling. So that's just one die, really. And just a Merry Christmas, I'm sure we all have one. Um, and then again, red, gold, and the couch or the chair I've made it in the leather green brown. And that's the other cards that I've used, the other stock. And again, I zigzag cards, like I said. So I've got it bring over my stock and bling. It's Christmas. We'll move this down here. Drop them all. I had them all organized, but I'll get there. See, <coughs> with a zigzag card, I've cut the staircase, the Christmas tree, and the couch. And so you took the zigzag cut and then ran it back through your die cutter to trim it down. There's one. Mm -hmm. Two, I done that that way because you've got a zigzag in. Mm -hmm. So that way and then again that way. Down, up, down. Mm -hmm. So when you fold, it comes together. That's all. So that's this one. And then I've cut the other little bits and I've cut them again and again. So there you are. I've cut the stairs again. So I want to put brown staircase. I'm just going to make it colorful. So glue. Yeah. Okay, so I've cut the staircase, so I want to make it as real, but as close to being inside a home. Okay, and our staircase in the house has got a little thing at the end. I wasn't going to go around and do a full carpentry work, <laughs> so I've just cut a piece. And I put it in 3D, like in a double-sided foam. Because it looked a bit flat that way. So just put it there. Need to clean this up. The snow. <laughs> so snow is a bit like glitter. I'm very messy, yeah, but it's me. It's not just that. I, if I had it. Maybe I should have done that last, the card. Okay, so now we've got that there. But because I want to make, oh, the I cut again on my Christmas. And I've die cut it on the glitter. And as you can see, all right, I've you lift it. Once from, when it's cut and it's sticky in the back. See? Mm -hmm. So I've stuck it already. So now I'm going to stick it on the back there. 
So I stack it there because I want to put it there and have it a bit more solid. Oh, well, I've done it too much. I have to go. Now the carpentry skills come in. <laughs> I've done it too high. Just have to. I improvise. There we are. And that's what crafting's all about. Is I know. As we go along. <laughs> Look, I thought I had it to the right size last night. There you are. You just maybe a little bit. Only paper, right? Yep, exactly. And that we should might see what we consider mistakes, but no one else will notice. Listen, I say I make originals. I will never make the same card the same way twice. Mm -hmm. I just. As long as you don't stress, it turns out okay. All right, that's the back of the card. Now we've got to turn it over because it's a zigzag. So we've got to fix the tree. So while that's drying, I've cut the tree many times because I want to give it that depth. I've cut the tree in gold oh. that matches that. Mm -hmm. I've cut it in the sticky back green, matches that. And I've cut it in red as well but I broke it down. So what I'm doing is I want to be a little bit traditional and make green. When I start, I cut it in the Christmas green, it's a sticky back. So all you got to do is lift, all right? It's sticky. So let's, Try and match the base that I've already cut, and it will stick. A bit like putting wallpaper. Right? Now, the angels sitting on top of the tree for the ones that can see it. It's definitely not green, so I'm going to remove that and leave that in white. Now, the table, if I can find my little table. See, it's got a little side table here, and I want it to look like the staircase, a bit of a interior designing here. So I'm going to put it. I've cut another one, like I said. So I'm just going to make that a little bit like the staircase timber. I'm going to tuck it under because usually these things sit behind the tree. I mean, the table is always there. Okay, but the tree needs to come. So let's cut this. Oh, well, it's smaller scissors. Yeah. So this is part of the tree. Like I said, I've cut it in gold, and I'm only going to use the bottom just so I can give it some um, Christmas look with the presents because the tree has all these presents underneath. So you can make, if you keep everything, you can make the tree gold, 
and have green presents or red presents or red. Okay. Just try and match it again. And this is for you. Just have to be more gentle because it leaves all these marks. Now, I want to give some light to the lampshade. So, because I've cut it all, I just want to give make the lampshade gold so it can stand there. Uses good. Started to take shape. Now I've cut presents. <laughs> There's so much <coughs> detail. Well, you just keep cutting because you cut it in three colors and you got all that stuff. See, I've got more here. So there's red. Got to wrap the presents. I mean, Robin does an excellent job, but she's not here. <laughs> um, I've learned this from her, but she does it a lot better. And very um, more real. Now, where was this? This is probably out of there. Just stick them on top. There's a white. It's all about having fun and making it real. Just find the matching place where you've cut it out of and put it back. There's another red. You need little tweezers. I think that red is out of there. A good more. white I'll find wait in a minute now because I don't want this bare I've just cut another piece but like you can see it doesn't really match so I'll have to improvise so I've got to cut it a bit more I should have done that first and tuck it under if I can do that I will okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go backwards And give color. Make sure it all blues. Okay. Well, that's drying, and I can put more presents down here. Oh, there's more white. There was green ones as well. And we'll find them where some go. So that's drying. I'll just trim a bit of this edge so it can roll. Okay. Now we're on to our couch. See, it's going to look like that. So the couch, like I said before, I've cut it in brown and I've cut it in to match the rug. So I've only cut the chair in the brown so I can put down and when I've cut it with the rug, I've only cut the rug out. That's all I need. I only need the rug. So the rug goes first in there. Or 
I've cut again in the red, so I might as well put this down because that it's easier to manipulate later because I can build on this because that's the base. I don't think I'm putting too much else. I need it. Okay. I've... Put the red in. Now I'm going to put the chair. It's all about cutting the same but in different colours, the same dye, and layering it up. See, the chair should match the chair underneath. Gives you the guide. Okay, now I've cut another one again in cream and I'm going to give the chair a rug, like, you know, like a throw of it so I can <laughs> get rid of it. Yeah, I'm just getting be creative. Now the chair, if you look at it closer, it's got a little cushion. So I've cut it in red. Oh, where is my cushion there? I've cut it in red and I've only used the cushion. So what's the point of having a lounge chair without a little cushion. So it's not hard to match. I think that's what it is. Yep. So you match the cushion, put the rug, which is part of the chair. Okay. Now, see, because you cut here and you don't see everything, it's got a little present. So I've made a white one so it can hide any imperfections that I deal with much in lines. I'm just going to put a little present by the chair. I'm going to put the rug. You could have put the rug in before the chair, just how you want to do things. But hopefully If it doesn't fit, you just keep trimming. I'll cut it too much. See, I could have put that before the chair and then the, I wouldn't have this situation now. And if it doesn't work, you cut a different one. I've got too many here. So there's a rug. And now I've cut, because it was in brown, I kept the table to match the chair. So there is, oh, cushion and chairs. I want to give it a bit of a outline. So I'm just going to outline the chair so you can see it better. And I'm using the Sakura glitter pens. That defines the lines of the chair. 
I can see them, but I don't know if you can see them on the camera. Mm. So the lines are in the dye, you're just highlighting them. Yes. And give some bling to a cushion. And you can go over the chair a couple of times. Okay. Now, that, while that's drying, the <coughs> staircase looks a bit boring. So I've cut another one, just only the top of the staircase in the rail as you're coming down the handle. So I'm just going to put that glue back on and glue that on top. And add some bling so our staircase, the handles are nicely decorated. It's all about cutting a few different colors and matching them with the theme. That will dry. I should have done that first, so now I could put the bling. So when, oh, this one I've got a cut on. Here we are. Now, <coughs> sorry, the dye has a thing called deck the holes. So it's got a little sign here. Deck the holes. It comes in the packet. So I've die cut it and I've got a gold back. Ah, so using the negative of the die rather than the positive. Yes, that's right. Um, so I'm just going to put it there. Put the mat down. The holes. You could have cut that in glitter as well and peel it and stick it. But I didn't have the matching red in the glitter. Just put it up. Center. You get the holes. Now here on the staircase, we would like to add some bling. Okay, find my bling. Yes. Put some lovely stones. And we've got a new tool which works well. It's a sticky pickup tool for card making, you get two inside and it's got like a little blue tag on the bottom. So you pick up your dies, your um, bling, because it's so small, right? You can't lift it. See, it's up there now. So all you gotta do is position it mm. and it's done. The That's same with- What a clever idea. Yeah, it does pick up. I just have to. It kills you a lot. Might rather use. No, it's not working on this one. I use my fingers a lot. For my tweezers. But if this is supposed to work well, I don't know what how they're doing it, but I use my tweezers, no, my fingers. It's there. It's 
C'est du mètre. Oups. I'm going to put the red on the bows. I've got this snow still on my fingers. I feel like I've been plastering. Billy's out painting and I'm in here plastering. Okay. So I'm just going to use red and gold, uh, yellow and or gold and green on the rest. It must be a better way. Many years ago, I had this other tool called Quick Pick or something, but I don't know where I've put it now. Well, this is so tiny, these ones. Yeah. I think having long fingers, long nails, is probably better. But the ladies like the tools. Okay, now we've decorated the staircase. I want to decorate the Christmas tree. It's all nice and dry. I'll use the same. No, it's on me. And those little self-adhesive gems are just fantastic for adding a bit of bling. Yes, they are, especially on a Christmas time. Just got to get... Yeah. And do they come in different colours and sizes? Yeah, we have um, up to 6 mil from 2 mil diameter in silver, gold, green... Uh, pink, any color really. I'm just using this one because it's got a few, just the two colors and the gold. I thought I'll keep it in um, with the colors that I've got on in the card store. I'm just going to put well, maybe some yellow or gold. Not having much luck putting them up, but I think the ladies, you can put pearls, you can put anything you want, really. It's more on my fingers than on the tree. Just play. More red. And without 
Sakura glitter pin, just decorate the angel on top. So you can highlight that. You can decorate your presents and give him that extra lift. There we are, just move out, I'm there on the chair. Mara rippling on the cushion. There we are. Okay. What an we amazing are. card. Yes, it, look. It takes a little bit of time, but as crafters, we always have time. We will make time. And it's up to your own imagination. You can just do single time or just, you know, in the reds or the greens. But it's very easy. And you can use that card for a men's card, just the cutting of the chair by itself. You can add more things to it. I mean, look, oh, this is one I started earlier. No, never finished. <laughs> so you can have the staircase and put a deco ladies in front or um, oh. use it for other ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the Christmas tree or the lampshade, you can just have the lampshade with the um, couch. Yeah. And somebody reading or fishing. Like you can have the table there and not the tree, or you can use the tree outside you don't have to use it in this concept alone yeah. you can just cut it and you can put it there you can just put it in black and you can add it in somewhere there yeah lots so, of ideas I think imagination and you can use the cards the way you like or ask the rest of the family or your friends but it's easy we have the cards ready so this card is 320 long, mm -hmm. so you never really buy the die to cut the zigzag card mm. unless you keep cutting and keep joining yourself. This is only one piece. Mm. And this die here, it's die cut to this, but it's not easy to find a die. And you still got to buy the paper anyway to make it like that. Mm. And not many, I mean, we all have electric machines and a4 machines, but, you know, to cut the die perfectly all the time and you don't waste paper. Or you can trace it around like I, I do sometimes if I want it in a different colour. So you can cut, you know, by the base and then you just build on it. Excellent. Lots of options. Fantastic. I'll give you a moment to turn your camera around. Okay. Okay, I hope you learned something there. I certainly did too. Didn't it really show that there are so many different ways that you can use those dies as well? So just what you get in the pack is really only a starting point. You can use them in different layers and build it up and then you can cut sections out as well. And there's just really so much that you can do with it. So excellent. So Mary, thank you so much for sharing that with us today. <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Excellent. As much fun watching as I did making them. Oh, they certainly would. And like you said, I think it's a great time to start Christmas in July cards. And, and you've had a bit of a sad news regarding Caribbean Gardens this week. Yes, it is um, closed. Uh, they decided to close it permanently, the management there. I don't know what they're planning to do, but we have other plans. Mm -hmm. We are negotiating um, with a community hall nearby on Wednesdays. Uh, Post-COVID-19, of course, um, and I'm waiting to hear from them today. Um, I'm hoping it will be available on Wednesdays all day mm -hmm. just for us and our craft girls so we can do our lessons and shop in more comfortable place. Mm -hmm. It will be air-conditioned, carpeted. It won't be out in the elements like it was at Caribbean. So, and it can feed up to 100 people. So it will be plenty of space, but I'm just waiting to see back um, from the authorities that it's available to us on Wednesdays and how many we can have even mm. earlier. 
I mean, mm. if that was last week, we could have had 10 people. Mm -hmm. But because of the lockdown now, you can't go anywhere anyway. Yeah. Exactly. So please, I mean, there ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, we've got a few guys or gentlemen that come to the classes as well. So be patient. Um, we've got plan B. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, yeah, so why it's very sad news that the Caribbean Gardens market's closing. It's really good news to hear that you're looking for alternatives. Yes. Yeah, we will do it. And hopefully by middle of August we'll be up and running and I'll keep everybody informed on our web page or um, Facebook or SMSs. So, yeah, we're on it. Yeah, excellent. And, of course, we'll share all the details on the From Picture to Page website as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. So where can we find all of these dies and pre-die cuts? They're on our web page. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if I've got the snow up and if I don't, I'll put it as soon as we finish. Okay. Um, and do you want me to – the Nelly's Christmas window um, and the other reindeer mm -hmm. and the snow is um, available. Mm -hmm. The same with the hunky-dory Christmas scene. Yep. They're all available on our web page now. Mm -hmm. Because we don't do the classes, and like I said many times before, we offer 20% discount across the shop for the card classes. Um people but we offer it today as well for the next five days oh, or well, so much Mary. Week, yeah Excellent. until the end of next week mm -hmm. just quote uh p2p at the checkout mm -hmm. p2p20 mm -hmm. sorry yep, p2p20 so, at checkout yes at the checkout and you will get 20 yeah. percent. it is free postage australia wide mm -hmm. so it saves you if you bought something today and you want to buy more tomorrow, it doesn't cost you any extra in postage. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you get the 20% off. And we're very reasonably priced. We've got authentic dyes, no copies, no imitations, and we guarantee our products. Mm -hmm. So if you're not happy, please send me an email. Mm -hmm. They Excellent. work and we're very happy. And they're European made. Most of our dyes are made in Europe. Mm -hmm. So quality and stock is available. So just Start shopping. Yep. Excellent. So, Mary, thank you so much for joining us today with your Christmas in July cards. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed the class. We did. Thanks, Mary. Thanks. Bye. Excellent crafter. So I hope it gave you some inspiration and perhaps looking forward into Christmas. Can we even think that far ahead yet? And definitely, like Mary said, jump over to their website, Craft on Craft Zone Online, and you can see all the products listed there. And we'll get, of course, all the links up over at the From Picture to Page website, where you can go and see all the past sessions, see the replay of this one in the next hour or so, and then, of course, see all the sessions coming up. And we're beginning to plan season three as well. So we would love to hear from you leave comments here and of course get in touch at our um, paper craft posse group and share what you've made just like Faye did with her beautiful hat cards that Mary demonstrated a couple of weeks ago so we'd love to see you there and thank you so much for joining us here and this is Michelle signing off we hope you have a crafty day